Well, good morning from a very sunny Oda. I've just left the uh, campsite and I'm now heading downtown for breakfast and coffee as I've had anything yet in this past 11. So it's slow going again as usual, but I had a very good night's sleep. So uh, yeah, I thought uh, I deserve that one. So let's just see if we can find some coffee. Then I'll take the left uh, side bank of the, uh, the fjord up to Utne where I'll take the ferry to, uh, to the other side of the Adango Fjords and then we'll take it from there towards uh, Vos, I hope but we'll see how far we get Alright, let's just go down to uh, Oda Looks like they're turning up that mountain over there, the massive uh, factory. It's such a sheer contrast with the rest of the fjord as well, but well, we've got enough mountains here, so I'm sure they can spare one. Right, on my way to Odne, and uh, should be around 20k or so, but I'm going to take it exceptionally easy because my left shoulder is already aching uh, a lot. So, yeah, I have no idea how this they will uh, play out, but we'll see how it goes. Well, that was a tunnel. Not much fun to be had in, a, in that tunnel, really. Anyways, I found another waterfall. What do you know? Well, I think uh, it's safe to say you'll be uh, seeing loads and loads more waterfalls because I like them. Ha! Well, only did 8k in uh, what? An hour? Ha! That's all right. Let's see if we can uh, chase the next waterfall. Right, I had. 90 minutes for uh, to do 22 kilometers, but well, I uh, didn't take into account uh, I would be actually stopping for 25 minutes. Uh, it's not a race, but it is. Oh, I'd like to catch that ferry. <laughs> oh well, let's do it. Well, it's the first decent bypass. That's about time, and a good one. Nice. Okay, so it's a Thursday afternoon, but it's not a soul on the water. I haven't seen much activity at all so far. That, uh, it's enough water, there's plenty of boats, but hardly anybody on the water. Though the, the weather is so fantastic. Giant bridge over there. Well, this should be uh, the Hardanger Fjord. And that should be my ferry coming this way, I think. Thunder. Well, I'm on the other side um, of the Hadanga Fjord. I'm not sure if I should have paid. There was a desk uh, before I entered the ferry, but it said pay on board. But I waited and waited, nobody came by. Maybe I should have gone in search of um, uh, a place to pay for. Nobody in the cars did either, so I'm not sure if it's a free ferry then. Doesn't make sense here in Norway. 
But either way, I'll take it. Uh, I've paid enough so far. Cost 35, but not for me. It's going to be more because uh, I'll have to go and use a few bypasses and not tunnels. Well, that involves climbing, but hopefully also nice views like these. How long of yours? Things could be worse. Finally, some peeps on the water. That's good use of a fjord. <sighs> well, I'm always uh, a mind of just ringing that doorbell because there's nothing else to do but wait. If only I had a quick getaway, but I don't, so I'll just leave it this time. Honestly, it's just moving a little bit of sand from one side to the other and back again. And... Right, let's do a game. Let's count all the uh, berries here in the tree. Who's with me? I would say it's about a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's a lot. Who is moving? I know, have no idea if this is a bypass or not. My tunnel is 1.3k with all the traffic behind me. All right. Looks like this is the end of the Hardang up here. I'm not sure how long it is, but I'll put it in the, in the video. That is a welcoming sign. Left of a coffee. Very nice place. Very antique. I like it. Yeah. Nice. A beautiful place. Elegant. Wow. Well, that was a great stop for a coffee. Beautiful interior. Uh, 1674. I thought she said 70. Well, anyways, it's very, very old. And uh, beautiful, very friendly people. Coffee was actually uh, affordable and uh, freshly brewed. So, uh, happy days. Uh, yeah, it's getting late. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, and I have quite a bit of, well, quite a bit. I've got a few hundred meters of ascension to do today. But it should be over a very nice touristy route over to some, well, what you know, a waterfall of all. So, uh, yeah, I'm keen to see that one. And then head down to Vos. And I'm not sure if I'll try and find a hotel or campsite or anything. Or maybe even wild camping. This might be the only chance I have before the weather turns uh, sour. Yeah, a lot of uncertainties, but, well, that's life for you. Well, first time today away from uh, the traffic. I've been hearing this very annoying squeaky noise on my bike for the last half an hour, but I can't find it. Ah, well, that's not a minor disaster, it's a big one. I have a loose spoke. And I thought, what am I hearing on my, my wheel? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, I have no idea how to repair that. I don't have a spare one either. <sighs> oh man, what a bummer. I don't know if I can actually continue or if the whole wheel will sort of implode. Oh, I thought something was rubbing against my front wheel, but it was my back wheel, I think, that started to wobble. Right, uh, let me think. Well, that's the first time uh, in well over a year that my Rondo has uh, let me down. A broken spoke is uh, never a good thing. Certainly not if you're carrying that much luggage. I'll just uh, duct tape the hell out of it and hope it uh, holds in until I get to Vos, which is 20, 25k away. 25, yeah. 
not what I wanted, but uh, it looks like my bike is giving up before I do. Uh, I hope they can give me a, a quick fix or something in Vos. Well, anyways, I have no idea what I'll do after tomorrow anyways, but this is not the way you want to end the, any holiday really. And I hope I don't damage more by just plowing on for now. But 25k of walking is not a, a viable option either. At the very least, that should uh, take me five hours. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll just um, see what I can mend in terms of duct taping and then uh, continue towards Vos. Well, it's very, very wobbly and I found another one that's bound to crack. So I think the whole wheel is, uh, well, it's another crack showing. So the wheel is done for. Well, on was and up was. Um, we're gonna go up there and have a little pause. Well, still 15k or so to uh, to Foss. Um, my uh, MacGyver solution is still holding somewhat. The wheel is uh, hitting the I'm not sure what you call this one, uh, the side of the frame, and uh, yeah, it makes all kinds of squeaking noises. But as long as it doesn't uh, completely uh, fail on me, I'm happy. And uh, yeah, let's just hope that um, the cycle shop can do something with this. Um, let's just first see if we can reach uh, Voss. That's number one. Now let's just get to the top first. <laughs> All right, see you there. Oh, that's a cool looking cycle bridge, not bad. So I'm about 10k away, 8.6 from Foss. So I have to find accommodation. I think I'll try and find a hotel that is close to the city center or something. That's, uh, that's going to be another premium and I fear very much the cost for the bike repair tomorrow, if they can fix it. And, uh, and also if they can't, that's going to be a hell of a way for me to get back to Christiansand because there is a part from Oslo to Kungsberg I have to cycle <laughs> as the bus won't take me uh, or maybe I have to go to Bergen and take a very expensive boat to Christiansand well I still have a credit card but uh, yeah yeah it's safe to say this was not the best day so far so maybe uh, this is some redemption at the end of the day I don't know uh, it's a bit of a downer. Normally I'm quite positive about these things and usually problems solve themselves sort of, but yeah, this one's not good. At the very, very least, exceptionally expensive and uh, the, yeah, the holiday is expensive enough as it is. Looks a bit like Switzerland to me. I made it to Voss in the end with my uh, broken spoke and uh, other misery on the, the rear wheel. Yeah, uh, very disappointed end of, uh, of the day, obviously. 
and maybe in end of the, the holidays in fact because uh, yeah there's only so much I can and I am willing to pay for at the end so again I'm in a hotel I wanted to go camping or wild camping even because the weather is still beautiful but uh, yeah I think that's uh, that's not going to happen so I might even have to stay here another night uh, tomorrow morning is going to be very important whether or not I can actually continue my travels uh, and also the dooming rain of course was an issue so uh, phew, lots of decisions tomorrow but uh, yeah that's that's for tomorrow for now it's, uh, it's a shower do some shopping uh, a decent meal uh, and then I'll, I'll call it a day so uh, thanks for watching um, yeah enjoy your ride stay safe out there and also don't break your bike see you later bye bye